Heat stress on our cattle is a, is a critically important uh, aspect of our production that we have to control. Heat stress accounts for about $370 million worth of losses to our beef cattle industry every year, just due to the decreases in performance, decreases in fertility, and also potential of actually having a mortality. That's why it's critically important to have a plan in place and to plan ahead to make sure when we have heat stress events that we, we have a readily made plan uh, to put into action. How we actually plan ahead for some of these things, there are some excellent monitoring tools that are available to monitor heat stress. One of the forecasting tools that is available is through US Mark. That's US Meat Animal Research Center out of Clay Center, Nebraska. Their heat stress uh, forecasting tool actually gives us a seven day forecast so we can plan ahead. Another great tool that's at our disposal for uh, ranchers in Kansas in particular is a Kansas Mesonet. It uses, utilizes a, a animal comfort index, very similar to US Mark, uh, that actually takes into account solar radiation, temperature, humidity, wind speed, to really understand how the heat, how the humidity, how the wind is interacting with our animals. Once we know that heat stress is upon us, what are some critical aspects that we can put into action on our operation to minimize the impacts of heat stress? It's a multitude of, of things, both from feeding, critical water, okay? Uh, water consumption is critical during the hot summer months. Okay, once the temperature rises to about 90 degrees and during the hot summer, uh, animals consume water at five times their dry matter intake to feed. Okay, so critically important that, that we have a good quality and quantity water source that's available to them at all times. Next, we have other things that we can use like shade. Okay, you can see behind me here at the beef stocker unit at K-State that we're utilizing sunshade to actually look at the impacts on, on how it mitigates heat stress. If you are gonna utilize something like sunshade, make sure that the animals have about 20 square feet per head of shade access at any given time of the day. Other things we can do, pin surface. If you don't have the, the opportunity to have sunshade, we can modify the pin surface. Uh, keep in mind that just a dirt floor during the hot summer months, due to the solar radiation, it can get up to about 140 degrees. Things like dry bedding, if, whether it's corn stalks uh, or wheat stubble that, that's been baled, that we can put out some straw and we can actually drop the surface temperature of that pen floor by about 25 degrees. These are all critically important that we can help minimize the amount of heat that these animals accumulate during the day. How do animals dissipate heat? Uh, cattle are a robust uh, species. They actually accumulate heat during the day and they dissipate it during the nighttime cooling hours. Okay, so anything that we do to, to maximize the nighttime cooling really helps the animals in the long run. It takes about six hours of nighttime cooling to be able to dissipate the cumulative heat load that they picked up during the day. Hopefully these are some really nice tools to help you minimize the impacts of heat stress on your animals during the summer months.